Hello everybody, welcome to Abnormal Investigations. I got another encounter for you I think you're going to enjoy. It's from a deputy and I think it's going to be a good one guys. Remember Sundays I do not drop videos anymore. Uh, spend time with your family. Um, I might drop some shorts but we're not going to be dropping videos on Sundays. Um, I hope you all are enjoying your weekend together with your family and I hope you all enjoy the beginning of this week which will be well, Monday actually will be the breakdown, so this video will come out on Tuesday, guys. So I hope you enjoy it, and let's jump to it. As a seasoned road deputy, I had grown accustomed to the vast and rural landscape of our county. With over 4,775 4, square miles to patrol, I had seen my fair share of strange occurrences, from unexplained lights in the sky to hovering helicopters with no sound. My experience had prepared me for the unexpected. But nothing could have prepared me for the encounter that I would forever be etched in my memory. It was October 2006 and I was patrolling the eastern part of our county. The darkness of the night was only illuminated by the faint moonlight and the soft glow of my dashboard. I was driving at a steady speed of 45 to 50 miles an hour. Lost in thought, reflecting on the cases I'd worked on recently. The silence was comforting, punctuated only by the hum of my engine and the occasional crackle of my radio. Suddenly, a dark figure darted into my path. My instincts took over and I slammed on the brakes, but it was too late. I struck the figure, feeling my vehicle lift and scrape underneath. Time seemed to slow down as I processed what was happening. In the split second before the impact, I caught a glimpse of what I was about to hit. It stood about three to four foot tall, with dark fur covering its body. Its upper body resembled that of a human, but its lower half was unmistakably goat-like, complete with hooves. Its eyes were red in the lights from my vehicle, and curved horns protruded from its head. The image was seared into my mind, and I knew I would never forget what the hell I'd seen that night. As I brought my vehicle to a stop, I leaped out expecting to find a mangled body. But to my astonishment, there was nothing. No blood, no body, no scratches on my vehicle. Only the skid marks remained as evidence of the collision. I must have drove completely over this thing. The cattle guard we carry on front of our vehicles must have actually have saved me. I walked back to the scene, flashlight in hand, searching for any sign of what I had hit. But there was nothing. The silence was oppressive, punctuated only by the sound of crickets and the distant hum of my engine. I stood there frozen, trying to process what had just happened. Had I really seen that? I thought I saw. Was it just a wild animal that had darted into the road, but the image of those glowing red eyes and the curved horns lingered in my mind? Suddenly, I heard movement in the weeds nearby. My training kicked in and I drew my pistol, retreating to the safety of my vehicle. I didn't move, didn't speak, and finished out my shift in a daze. The encounter had left me shaken, I'll admit. The next day I shared my story with a fellow officer, Deputy Jenkins, who listened intentively. His expression was skeptical. You sure you're okay, partner? He asked. I nodded and I told him that I was still fine, but I was still trying to process what had just happened the previous night. Deputy Jenkins inspected my vehicle and found no evidence of the collision, no dents, no scratches, no signs of impact. We returned to the scene, but only the skid marks remained. It was as if the creature had vanished into thin air. I reported the incident to the sheriff, John Taylor, a seasoned lawman with years of experience. He listened attentively. His expression, unreadable. When I finished, he leaned back in his chair and steepled his fingers. Deputy, I've heard stories about something like this before, he said. The goat man, they call it. I said, what? Some of the old timers around here claim to have seen it, but I've never thought I'd hear it from one of my own deputies. I felt a chill run down my, down my back, and I asked him, what do you mean? Over the next few weeks, we investigated the incident, scouring the area for any sign of the creature. We spoke to locals, gathering stories and legends about the goat men. Some claimed to have seen it in the woods, others in the fields, but no one had any concrete evidence. The encounter had left me changed. I couldn't shake the feeling that I had glimpsed something behind. The encounter really, really bothered me. Sheriff Taylor leaned forward, his eyes serious. I mean that 
You're not crazy, deputy. Whatever you saw, it's real. And I think it's time we looked into it further. We've been investigating this since the day that I hit it. There has been nothing new come about it, just stories and legends of people seeing it, shooting at it, and seeing it in their barn and other stories that come to mind. But I can't prove what I hit that night. I hope someday to be able to prove what it is. I know what I seen and I know what I felt when I hit it. And with the legends around here and so many people know about this creature, it has to be real because I seen it. It was there. Was it a full grown one or was it a juvenile? I would say there's definitely something there. Uh, you've probably seen something that's one of the cryptids that's not talked about a lot. And you probably did run over it. But uh, they're probably a lot stronger than us. And I'm sure it was injured, but probably survived the impact. If it didn't, there might have been another one there that got it away from the scene to where you wasn't able to find a body. Because I'm pretty sure they know what you are in your vehicle, and they probably try to hide more from your vehicle than they do other vehicles. I believe they're very intelligent, and they know a lot more than what people give them credit for. I'm glad y'all are investigating it further, but I doubt they'll ever let you find out what it is. Just my opinion. Thank you for listening, guys. Keep your head on a swivel. Don't become something's dinner, and we'll see you on the next one.